almost as soon as this camp was set up, uh, a crematorium was uh, needed. And this is a replica, but you can see the uh, one in photographs, because photographs do exist of the, uh, the crematorium at uh, Gross Rosen. So this is like a, a field crematorium, it's called. I don't know why it's called that, because it looks does not like the sort of thing you can walk around with. Uh, that could burn 10 bodies a day. Well, that wasn't sufficient. Uh, um, so uh, bodies used to be taken to the crematorium in Legnitsa. Uh, which is some distance uh, from here and um, that wasn't really a very favorable uh, way of doing things so bigger crematoria were built here so a three chambered oven which could handle m many more bodies now the thing with when you're burning bodies is it's, it's that well it's actually it's the same as cooking uh, it's a matter of just keeping the temperature hot uh, something like that it's not going to keep it hot so that it doesn't uh, it, uh, it's not going to be very efficient. If you've got something internal inside, the temperature's kept, kept constantly hot, it requires much less fuel, and uh, it's, it's easier to work. It's the same with cooking, exactly the same. So, uh, that's the crematorium. Yeah, it's quite handy, really, because it's not right next to the place where people are being murdered anyway. So you could uh, shoot them or uh, poison them with a phenol injection and bring the body directly in here to be disposed of.